this is a rabbit testy um, and the rabbit testes can grow um, spirochete organisms and can be used, uh, I don't exactly know how this is done, but th this is used as control tissue for syphilis because getting actual, you know, samples of syphilis, thankfully it's becoming, even though the cases are rising nowadays, it's still not something that we have tons and tons of extra tissue on hand. This is why I don't like Steiner and Worth and Starry. There are black little spirochetes in here, but there's so much background stain and it, I have seen examples that were very good. I think it's uh, somewhat dependent on the lab and the skill of the histotex in doing this. But because these stains are not used very often anymore nowadays, I feel in many labs, I feel like a lot of techs probably don't have regular experience doing this. And so getting an optimized perfect one to me is really hard. So I personally almost, I essentially never use these stains. I've heard other people argue that I should, but I have to tell you, I just feel like it's so difficult to interpret. There are spirochetes here, but they're really hard to see. Now, let me show you what the, this, the spirochete immunostain, and not everyone has, is lucky enough to have access to this, but this is what the spirochete immunostain looks like. No doubt about that, right? This is with the red chromogen. You can also use brown. Red sometimes has this little fine granular background that's nonspecific. Brown, sometimes the difficulty is telling apart melanocyte dendrites from the actual organisms. But look, right here along the stratum, I'm sorry, the basal layer, you're seeing numerous squiggly little linear spirochete organisms. And here's a close-up view to see that they kind of have that spirally twisty shape. That is an example of secondary syphilis with a spirochete um, immunostain to recognize the treponema pallidum organisms. Okay.